Today, more three and three quarter inch Star Wars action figures. There should be eight figures in this tiny little box. Let's get into this and see. All right, welcome back to another episode of Paul's Collectibles. If you're new to the channel, it's good to have you. Thanks for stopping by and giving me a shot. Or if you're somebody who's subscribed to me or has been watching my videos for quite a while, I greatly appreciate having you. Thank you so much. Today, we're gonna to be looking at an entire wave of three and three quarter inch Star Wars vintage collection action figures. This time, it's the Ahsoka wave, which also includes the off-world Jawa, the Darth Maul from Mandalore, the Ahsoka, and the arc trooper echo now for some reason and i'm not sure why i did this uh, i actually ordered the entire case so they sent me eight figures and as you saw in that box i showed it looks a little smaller if you've been watching my videos for any amount of time you'll notice that when i get in figures from entertainment earth they'll send two in a box that's twice the size of the one that i just showed you now i ordered these figures back in may right off of their website they promised them to me in july but they didn't get here until today which is august 26th so they're running a little behind over there and i'm not sure why but I'm mostly interested to see how they packed eight figures into that tiny little box and see what kind of condition they're in. So without any further ado, let's get these in front of some lights, take a look at them and see what I'll be adding to my Star Wars action figure collection today. Okay, well there you see the wave out of the box and shockingly, not only were they in a small box, they were in a smaller box that was inside the box that Entertainment Earth had actually sent me and packed pretty well, I can't complain, they all came in great shape. Now you'll notice that they sent three Darth Maul figures, but only one Arc Trooper Echo and Ahsoka and the Offworld Jawa got two. I don't know why they do that, I would have preferred two of Darth Maul and two of Arc Trooper Echo, so who knows. But you'll also notice Ahsoka is not here. I already did a video on her because I got her early from Big Bad Toy Store. So we're gonna concentrate on three, these three guys today. But with that, let's get started. First up, we have Star Wars The Clone Wars Darth Maul on Mandalore. It's got the blue name pill, it's got the blue background, and that card, although a little dark once again like the Ahsoka card, is actually really cool. You can still see him really well, and I love the red accents and things they've put in the back to really show off the Sith side of his nature. That's a really good looking card, and I don't think I'm going to complain about that one one bit. And as you can see, everything's encapsulated right here in the bubble and it kind of all goes together. So good looking card. I love the double bladed lightsaber that's uh, predominantly shown in the picture there and it's really good looking. Let's take a look at that figure. Okay, there's a really good close up look at the Darth Maul Mandalore action figure and they've done a really good job at this scale of getting in the details of his face paint and his chest paint. He's got his yellow horns up there. The tunic is looking good. It's got a little bit of wrinkling in it. Can't complain about that. The belt looks really good. The pants also, they did a good job on that one. And the robot legs down there look really good. I have to be honest with you, although some of these colors are a little bit more plain than I would like to see, that's a really good looking figure and they did a good job. And as you can see, the lightsaber comes in two separate pieces so you can make the double bladed lightsaber if you want or he can fight dual wielding or with just the single blade and there doesn't seem to be anything else that comes inside that bubble with him just all meat and potatoes darth maul and a lightsaber and he is vc 201 Next up, we have the off-world Jawa Arvala 7 from Star Wars The Mandalorian TV show. I'm guessing Arvala 7 is the name of that planet where he encountered the Jawas in the second episode, I believe, of the first season when they stripped his 
ship down and he had to go get this egg from them. But that's a pretty bland picture on there. It's not bad. I mean, Jawas aren't really anything to get too excited about, but the yellow name pill, yellow background, it's a pretty standard looking Star Wars card. It's not bad. And I think it showcases the figure that's in the bubble well enough. But with that, let's take a good look at that figure. All right, Jawas, like I said, pretty plain characters, not much to them. They keep their faces shrouded. This one has a plastic hood and the face is fairly pronounced there with the red eyes. I think they could have recessed that a little bit and it would have made it a little bit more mysterious and look a little bit more like the actual figure pictured on the card, but not too bad. It's got a soft goods cloak, which I really think they did a good job on. It's really small stitching and there's lots of fraying around the edges to really give it that realistic look. Then he's got the belt across there. Now down here, he comes with a blaster pistol and he also comes with the two dis I guess those would be called disabling rays or blaster rays for droids. And he also comes with that egg. Now, I think that's nice that they did that considering they charge the same amount of money for this figure and it's a lot smaller. So they give you a lot of accessories to come along with it. And as you can see, all of them are taped right to the front of the bubble there. There's really nothing else to see on that character. And he is VC203. And then last up is my favorite from this wave. As anybody who watches my channel for any amount of time knows, I'm a huge Trooper fan. I also love the Sith and the Jedi, so this wave has been great for me. But Star Wars, the Clone Wars, Arc Trooper Echo, bluish gray card, goes nicely with the blue accents on his armor. That goldish yellow name pill, goldish yellow background. And I'm gonna be honest with you, that card actually looks really good. It's obviously some sort of rendering because this is from uh, the cartoon Clone Wars or the animated series, but they did a really good job. It's a little darker, but because this character has so much depth on his uniform and his sculpt, it really makes it look great. And I'm a big fan of this card. I like it a lot and I'm excited to get this Arc Trooper Echo into my collection. Let's get a better look at that figure. Okay, I, they did such a good job on this Art Trooper Echo figure. I love the fact that his helmet comes separately so he can be posed with his helmet on or his helmet off. They did a really good job, especially at this scale, of molding that helmet. The sculpt on this face kind of looks like the standard clone troopers we've been getting. And the armor is just gorgeous. They did such a good job on this, especially at this scale. Now, we recently did the Purge Trooper and he had a better looking setup for his comma, or not his comma, his pauldrons up here. This one is lacking a little bit in the detail area, specifically around the ammo pouches, but still not bad. They did a fairly decent job of the handprint. The belt across his waist here is really good, but if you look closely at the belts where his pistols go, the painting is a little weird and it's a little off and it just, it doesn't quite look right. It's still a good looking character and I know there's a lot of things to paint on this guy, but they, they really could have done a slightly better job on that if you ask me. Now the hands and the gloves, wow, with the yellow and the red buttons, great job. He's got his comma down here. Looks like it's a harder plastic comma and not soft goods. And then the boots and the shins are also painted. Overall, it's not bad. They could have put a little bit of relief colors on him to kind of make the white parts of his armor. Well, all of the armor pop. It looks kind of, I don't know, too clean, I guess would be the best way to describe it. But the phenomenal thing about this is look at this guy. He comes with a blaster rifle. He comes with the two pistols, which will go into the holsters there. And he comes with the blaster gun. So they just really went all out on the accessories, which is good because they kind of need to make up for the fact that the overall appearance of his armor is a little too plasticky for me. That's the best way to describe it. Still love it. Still my favorite character in this wave. Just have to be critical about something. That's the one thing I would talk about. And on the back, you can see he's got his backpack back there. And you can see it on the other side as well there. And he is VC 176. But there you have it. Three of the figures from the latest vintage collection wave. Just some great figures that came out in this wave. The Darth Maul from Mandalore, the Art Trooper Echo, and the Off-World Jawa. I'm really excited about this wave. And despite some of my critiques, possibly about the card or the figure, I still love all of these and I'm so excited to have them in my collection. Once again, if you wanted to see the Ahsoka, I did that in a previous video. So just go back a couple because I got her early from Big Bad Toy Store. But with that, thank you for joining me and I will see you on the next video.